Hi, my name is Alex Roten, and I'm one of two students that headed up the podcast I Had the Craziest Dream Last Night, which is about ours and listeners' crazy dreams and the meanings behind them. I'm presenting today on the production of this podcast and the lessons that came out of it. To throw it way back to the very beginning, I've had crazy dreams almost every single night since I was a little kid. One of the very first crazy dreams that I can remember was that I was murdered by a cowboy with a box of peanuts. From there, my dreams got crazier, more detailed, and more frequent, which has led me to journaling about them, writing about them, and telling them to anyone who cared or didn't care but was around to listen. And now, podcasting about them. Although the peanut murder dream was one of the scariest and oddest dreams I've ever had, it turned out to have a lot of good in it because it inspired the creation of this podcast, I Had the Craziest Dream Last Night. I presented my idea to a few people and Ash and Earl happily jumped on the wagon with me to get this thing going. Ash and I quickly came up with a ton of great ideas and a ton of enthusiasm, but I realized just as quickly that I didn't know at all what went into making a podcast. I had no idea how to edit audio or what a script for an episode should look like or if we should even have a script. So one of the very first hurdles that we had to jump through was episode format. At first, every single word was scripted, which made it sound kind of awkward and choppy. But as Ashley and I became closer friends, we realized that we actually have great conversations and decided to implement that into our podcast by making about 75% of each episode conversational and improvised. Our episodes got longer and, in my opinion, more interesting because it wasn't just us reading something into a mic, it was two friends just talking to each other. Another hurdle that we had to jump over was sound production. I'm lucky enough to have been surrounded by super tech-savvy people in the class and at work. Maddie Taylor, whose picture I stole off of Facebook, uh, helped us edit and was the very first person to ever teach me Adobe Audition. I also work at BYU Radio and unsurprisingly was met with a wealth of help and encouragement by everyone there. I actually had a friend sit down with me for an hour once to help me with uh, editing an episode, which was super kind. Um, so as the semester went on, we got more comfortable with podcasting, and as we got more comfortable, our episodes got better, and our personalities came out more, and we got more dream submissions, and I learned even more about editing and combining audio files. Also, as the semester went on, I realized that I really love working with audio recording and editing, and luckily for me, I have a boss who, after he heard about this interest, asked me if I wanted to start learning more about radio show production, to which I responded, yes. And so now we've worked it out that over the summer, I'm going to be working half of the time doing regular administrative assistant things, and the other half I'm going to be learning about producing radio shows and working the control boards, which I am so excited about. But back to the podcast. One thing that this podcast has really taught me is that to do anything great, we really need the help and support of other people. Nothing I did this semester was completely on my own, and I learned that I really like that. We got submissions for dreams through email, Slack, Facebook, and text, and we also got feedback through Slack and my job. And if we ever needed any help with any production at all, there was always someone willing to pitch in, um, which made it super helpful. <laughs> Another lesson that I learned from this podcast is that I can do hard things. As I mentioned a few times, I started out with zero tech knowledge, um, and I would still definitely classify myself as a beginner, but it's been a huge confidence boost for me to see that I'm fully capable of learning a completely new skill. I also learned that I really love dream psychology. I am a psychology major, a women's studies minor, and I'm also minoring in professional writing and rhetoric, which is why I was in a class about digital communication. But I realized that dream psychology is something that I like and am at least a little bit good at and can research as part of my major. Specifically, I noticed that the dreams that we received from women were a lot different from the dreams that we received from men, which is something that I think would be interesting to research in the future. Probably the most important thing that I got from this podcast, though, is that podcasting is much bigger than this class. It's a way of learning to share what you're doing with other people and hearing about and drawing from their experiences as well. And 10 years from now, I don't know where it'll be, but whether I'm an award-winning dream psychologist, an award-winning radio show host, or an award-winning something else, I do know that I'll use the skills and lessons that I learned from I Had the Craziest Dream Last Night and learn new things, be confident, and reach out to people that aren't directly in front of me. And most importantly, I learned to keep dreaming. Sweet dreams.